it is a well-known fact by 2050 there will be 9 billion people on the planet and the area of land which we have to produce the food for these people is not getting any bigger, if anything potentially due to climate change slightly shrinking. And so we need to be either breeding new crop species or developing new technologies to improve the amount of yield we can produce from the area of land we've got. Research with plants and especially with seeds is a crucial for our human survival. The reason for this is simply almost all food chains start and end with seeds. So what we research is how they germinate to their ability to adapt and how we can improve this process to make it resilient to climate change and the effects this has. The lab is focused on discovery to applied applications. I've seen some of the discoveries that have been made in the lab go through and how they can really impact on real life scenarios. The nature of my research is to try and establish this new technology which can improve the uniformity of seed germination. The technology is very versatile. All you need is a power socket and a water supply and it can be mobilised through any area of the world. The work we did on some of the genes that have been used for the humanitarian product Golden Rice is going to be used to help alleviate pro-vitamin A deficiency across the world. I'm working on a plant that produces two distinct seeds on the same individual plant and I'm working on how this plant does this and how plants can adapt to changing environments. The equipment we have here is state-of-the-art, the mass spectrometers, the LCMS, we've really maximised the outputs from those. We have facilities where we can monitor different water availabilities, determine the responses of seeds to different temperatures. We have the new state-of-the-art glasshouse facility and this allows us to grow our plants at defined and temperature controlled conditions uh, which are important for our seed physiology uh, and dormancy experiments. Facilities are great. I've got all of the tools I need to complete my research and if there is a particular new device I require the team are all open ears to try and bring that into the lab. We have multiple and long-standing collaborations with industry. We have a UK government project with Elsom Seeds, collaboration with Syngenta, which is funded by the BBSSC. We have a project funded by KWS in Einbeck, Germany, directly company funded. So to move into this exciting area is an opportunity for people on the job market. Royal Holloway is special because of the people it has. It's an incredibly friendly and nurturing place. I can talk to anyone and there's always someone to give you a hand if you need it. Every day is different. There's always something new to learn and we're always pushing boundaries and discovering new things. But the work we do does make a difference, but also when I see people come through the lab and seeing them go on with their research and contribute to society, it makes me proud.